you know, I mean, the next thing comes after capitalism, right? I mean, I think uh, as, a, as a person who is very opinionated about the flaws of capitalism and this idea that competition cures everything, um, this idea, this kind of Darwinism that, you know, the, the good ideas, the good people will rise to the top and they will, you know, and then the, the kind of older, lesser, defected models will die off, like this kind of law of nature I, I don't I don't agree with. I think that we're in it together and I wouldn't go as far as saying, because it's, it's, it's a bad word to say, to say communist, but definitely socialist, you know, that the least, we're only as fast as our, as our slowest leg. It's, it's like a track metaphor, right? And this idea that if my brother is not doing good, then I'm not doing good. And if we kind of adopted that philosophy, which I think we're getting back to, I think, I think what's coming after capitalism, I, th I think it's this kind of full circle thing because as the, the gap between the haves and the have-nots, you know, the 1% and the rest, gets bigger, I think people are starting to say, hey, you know, I, instead of hoarding my success, or what I call success, maybe I should be thinking about the people next to me and the people around me. And, and I think the more we see that, capitalism is, is becoming less and less attractive to people, at least regular people, maybe not the people at the top <laughs> who are benefiting from like hordes and hordes of money. Um, but I think that we're starting to see that, you know, we could do something that's more people-based instead of, instead of currency-based. And I think that's what's next.